Welcome to another week. Today, we're going to be looking at multiplying and dividing two digit numbers by 10. But before we jump into the two digit numbers, I have a story for you. The other day, I was working at Spotlight and this lady comes up to me. Hello, darling, I need some buttons. And I say to her, have I got the buttons for you? Here, I have a yellow, a blue, and a red. Oh, you only have three buttons. Yes, I said, I have three buttons. She looks, she says, no, no, no. I need 10 times as much as that. I look at her and I think, 10 times as much. Three times 10 equals 30. The lady looks at me and says, darling, that is exactly what I need, 30 buttons. <laughs> now that was a fun story. And you know, you might come across some stories just like that. Maybe not as dramatic as that in your life. How about this one? There are 52 tanks here in Australia. But the Prime Minister has been called upon to send tanks all across the world for domination. What is 10 times as much? Hmm, are you ready? Let's have a look at the place value. Here we have how many tens in 52? How many? Yes, five tens and two ones, 52. But what is 10 times as much? Hmm. We need to blow this up, just like a tank would. So we're gonna to have to look at our place value. Now look at this 10. What would it be if it was blown up to be 10 times as big? Look at this one. What would it be if it was blown up to be 10 times as big? Are you ready? Let me show you. Here it is. 10 times as big is how many hundreds, how many tens, and how many ones? Look at the number. That's right, 520. Let's look at how we've written it. Five hundreds, two tens, and zero ones. We have moved, we have blown up this number 10 times as much. So 52 multiplied by 10 equals 520. Pretty cool, huh? To be blowing up numbers. Now we're going to be dividing by 10. We're going to shrink some numbers down by 10. We're going to find out what one tenth of, look at the hundreds, look at the tens, look at the ones. Can you tell us the answer? That's right. 740. Seven hundreds, four tens, zero ones. 740. Now, if we have 740 fish in a huge aquarium at Sea Life, and a Japanese importer says, we're going to be starting our own aquarium, Sea Life, can we please have one-tenth of your fish? What do they say? 
Well, what is one tenth of 740? The answer is, ha, huh. we've had to shrink. When you saw the hundreds, what was one tenth? One ten. When you look at a ten, what is one tenth of one group of ten? It's the ones. So the answer is, I think, seven tens and four ones. 740 divided by 10 or one tenth of 740 equals 74. Remember when we multiply by 10, we are blowing it up by 10. When we divide by 10, we shrink it by one tenth. Clever kids, go have some fun with those numbers.